What's up? Good to be here. Uh, I play a lot of video games, and I actually learned something about myself playing video games last week, because I went bald when I was 23. And I always used to tell myself that that didn't bother me anymore, that I was over it. That's what I would tell myself. Then I was making my guy at the beginning of a video game, and I realized that every time I've ever done that, I've given him hair. <laughs> and I could have made me. I'm usually the default setting. <laughs> I don't have to hit anything. Hair, none. Eyes, blue. Skin, white. Start. <laughs> Every video game should be called John Roy 2K12, because I'm the first thing you see. Just me standing there, waiting to be selected. <laughs> I think my cell phone is making me dumber. I used to know any phone number anyone ever told me ever. Now they're all on the phone. There's Jack up here. If I lost my phone now, I couldn't even call my dad. I don't know my best friend's phone number. People are like, what's Kyle's number? I'm like, Kyle's number is Kyle. You hit Kyle. That's after Kevin, that's all I got. If I lost my phone, I'd have to get all new friends. I'd be like, screw it, I'll meet people. I'm not gonna track these people down. <laughs> I like living in LA though, I really do. It's cool, it's a diverse city, so it's weird when you still hear racist nonsense, and you still do, but it's like a surprise. Like two white guys were behind me in the mall and one of them goes, there's so many Mexicans in this city, it might as well just be a Mexican city. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, cause it was. <laughs> until 1847, when we conquered it. If you don't want a city full of Mexicans, don't conquer one. We took the whole Southwest from Mexico. We even left their name in one of the states. We called it New Mexico. You know what the new part was? Us. It's not like they left when they saw us coming. They just let us switch the flags, pretty much. They were like, we still work here, right? Some people don't get that joke, though. <laughs> For real. They come up to me after the show, and they're like, I like when you made fun of Mexicans. I'm like, I didn't. <laughs> One of us is a moron. <laughs> I think the most ridiculous racist thing you'll hear, though, sometimes white people will say this. They'll be like, well, I don't go to the movies with black people. They're loud. They can't control themselves. And when I hear that, I'm like, OK, now you know how they feel when they're in a bar full of white people and Sweet Caroline comes on. <laughs> or Moni Moni. <laughs> or any of the other songs that white people scream extra lyrics <laughs> that were never on the song to begin with. Go on the night. Go on YouTube. Type in Neil Diamond interview. Watch them all. At no point will Neil look in the camera and go, even though I hired a professional horn section for Sweet Caroline, the song would sound better if every drunk white woman from your work went ba ba ba. Thank you. Now, I'm not perfect. I have some racial nonsense in my head that I gotta get rid of too. And it's embarrassing, but it's still there. Like I freak out a little bit when I see black people doing things I don't expect them to do culturally. I will explain. <laughs> you see eight white guys in Jay-Z shirts, you think nothing of it. But you meet that one black Pearl Jam fan and your brain just melts. <laughs> and every white rock concert's got at least one black guy there, right? And he knows the words, he's singing along, and you're like, really? <laughs> Your favorite band is Kings of Leon. <laughs> yes, I will play Guitar Hero with you tonight, but first I have to call my friends and tell them you exist. <laughs> and sometimes I'll do that joke and there'll be a lot of black people in the crowd, and one of them will come up to me and be like, first he'll look around though to see if his friends are looking, and he'll be like, dude, I love Kings of Leon. And then he's going. <laughs> but some people hear my jokes and they're like, you know what? you're making things too simplistic. Race is a complicated issue. It's not like you're saying there's different kinds of racists. There's different kinds. I don't know if that's really true. I think there's maybe two. There's racists with mustaches, <laughs> and there's racists without mustaches. Those are the two. Those are the two kinds. And they're just as racist. They just express it differently. Like mustache racists are bold. They're like, get out of my town! <laughs> 
Whereas racists without mustaches are more like, I don't know if we should hire Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, really funny. Thank you very that much. That was man. great. It's an honor to be here. Hey, hey, terrific. That was very funny. Thank you. John Roy. Ladies and gentlemen.